How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another video on the channel. Now today we are showcasing my top 10 Wonder Kids of FIFA 17 cards which are going to get an upgrade cards which are not on the FIFA 16 database already. That's going to be added into FIFA 17 so we're going to be discussing all that and all that kind of jazz. Now if you do want any cheap MSP, PS and even game codes, head over to j2a.com, use that code m 9 get yourself a discount. Every single link you'll need is right there in the description below. Kicking things off with a goalkeeper, 72 rated, Jan Luigi Donnarumma, 16 years old, he burst on the scene for AC Milan, 16, that is crazy, first team at such a reputable club, that is crazy, Jan Luigi Donnarumma, he's got a big future ahead of him, and I do believe he'll be a silver next year, the next man, I was toyed with him being a 74, with him being a 75, but I believe he's going to get a 73, it is Manchester United striker, Marcus Rashford, he comes in, at the Euros, he had a cameo appearance against Iceland. He did better than the whole team. Better than the whole team. So I'm not totally sure which rating he's going to get. I believe he's going to get a silver like Jamie Vardy did last year. He's going to get a silver. If he does well, he'll get bumped up to a 74 in terms of inform. If he does even better, January upgrades come along, he'll get a goal. That's how I kind of see that going for Marcus Rashford. The next man, Manchester City striker, Ian Achu. He's got a great goal scoring record. To games played, he's got a fantastic goal scoring record. I believe he's got a big future ahead of him. I believe he's going to get a 74 rated card. He's going to be massive in the future if he continues his goal scoring record. The next man, Briel Mbolo. He got his big money move from Baal to Schalke 04 in the German Bundesliga. Again, he's got a big future ahead of him. I didn't know which position to have him in, but I do believe that Switzerland striker and uh, Schalke striker now will be played as a striker. So yeah, striker, striker, striker. He's gonna get a 76 rated card in my opinion. He will stay the same. The next man is not on the game. He will get bumped up. 77 rated, Renato Sanchez. I've been watching the Euros. I've been massively impressed. I mean, this guy moved from Benfica to Bayern Munich for such a high fee. You think the pressure would get to him, not Renato Sanchez, he's been performing amazing for Portugal at the Euros, they're into the final, this is a big moment for Renato Sanchez and how it would dictate his future, he's going to be known, he's going to be bumped up if he has a good season for Bayern Munich, but I do believe he'll go into the game as a 77 rated card. Now the next card, I'm not saying he's better than Renato Sanchez, I'm not saying anyone's better than anyone, but I do believe Deli Ali will get a bump up to a 79 rated card. Why? Because he was one of the best kind of midfielders in the Premier League last year. Creativity-wise, you had Mesut Ozil. Other stuff, you had Deli Ali. Deli Ali was just always there. His goal against Crystal Palace, memorable. So memorable. What a strike. He flicked it over a defender, volleyed it, bottom corner, easy as you like. The next man will be a 79 rated as well again. I'm not saying he's on par with Deli Ali. I'm not saying he's better than Deli Ali. I'm not saying he's worse than Deli Ali. It is Kingsley Coleman. This guy, my good God, he's got such a bright future ahead of him. I like a lot of these players. They're wonder kids for a reason. Kingsley Coleman, he's been at Juventus, he's been at PSG, now he's at Bayern Munich, ripping shit up. He's at the Euros as well for France. Again, another massive prospect in world football. The next man will get an upgrade to an 80 rated card, in my opinion. It is Arsenal defender Hector Bellerin. Why is he a wonder kid? Well, he's one of the best right backs in world football for his age. And he very bloody house is going to be in a lot of Premier League teams next year. I mean, the pace alone speaks. It talks so damn fast. The next man is not too shabby in terms of pace either. Anthony Martial. He was originally brought in as a striker for Manchester United, but he was pushed out the left wing under Van Hall. It's going to be interesting to see under Mourinho what position he plays, but I do believe he's going to be on the left wing. He is a cover star. He's going to get a bump up and 80 rated for me. Number one, Paulo Dybala. My fatal player for team of the season. 83 rated. Again, he's going to get a bump up. He's got his face this year. The dab celebrations in there. Him and Pogba, they're going to be dabbing all over the place. This guy will be one of the best Wonder Kids on FIFA 17. So there is the top 10 lads. We have Donnarumma, Rashford, Iniacho, 
Dembolo, Renato Sanchez, that is your natural name, gets me every time. Deli Ali, Corman, Bellerin, Marial, Paolo Dybala. Lads in the comment section below, I want to see your top 10 Wonder Kids. Suggest which of the top 10s you want to see from me in the future. But that will be it for this video, lads. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, smashed the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.